in the graphic novel, there's a shot, there's a sort of a group photo of the Minutemen, the original Minutemen. It plays very heavily in the movie. It, you know, Sally has that picture, Blake has that picture, and also um, Hollis also has the picture. We really wanted to recreate that photo for the movie. That's insane. There are two generations of mass vigilantes and watchmen. There's the early generation, which is, you know, they're known as Minutemen, which is Old Night Owl, which is Hollis Mason, Captain Metropolis, Silk Spectre, the first one, Sally Jupiter, Silhouette, Hooded Justice, Mothman, Dollar Bill, and The Comedian. This movie spans such an interesting length of time. It's such an interesting deconstruction of the superhero, really looking at it from a different reality, almost, you know, from the, from the point of what would a world be like if people dressed up in costumes and, and, and got into the vigilante business? Hooded Justice was the first uh, mass vigilante. He started dressing up because that's what, you know, the bank robbers were doing and all the criminals of the time. And he said, well, why don't we do the same thing? Why don't we dress up? The cops can't get it done. You know, let's take matters into our own hands. And that's what they did, and that's when the, this group of Minutemen kind of came around, and then they organized. You know, imagining the back history of, of Watchmen was a lot of fun, and also it was a lot of fun because you only had to glimpse it. You didn't have to draw whole continuities that took place in the 1930s. The design of the Golden Age Night Owl, the older Night Owl, Hollis Mason Night Owl, is exactly the costume that I drew on my character when I was 14. Coming up with the designs for the early superheroes was lots of fun. We wanted to be as accurate to the graphic novel as we, as we could possibly be. All these fantastically antiquated and wonderful costuming techniques that you usually try and stay far away from because this is the 21st century. Uh, it was great to really embrace all of these costuming aesthetic and, and go to town with it. We had fun putting together Captain Metropolis and Hooded Justice who actually turned out to be two of my favorite costumes in the movie. I thought they, I was really happy with how they turned out. To sit here and have all these characters together, which only happens once in the movie, is really sort of satisfying, intimidating, exciting, awesome, user, use your expletive. It's uh, ultimately, though, an honor to be the stills photographer who makes that photograph. One, two, three.